Well, so now I'm up on the gazebo here in South Park in downtown Lawrence where I had the privilege of playing with lots of different groups, jazz groups, classical groups, city bands, all kinds of things. All with fun people, good musicians, lots of people in the crowd who enjoyed it, and, and it was all good. And I want to talk to you for just a minute today about an observation that I've had about the difference between classical music and jazz music and how it relates to our spiritual life. For our definitions today, I'm going to call classical music anything where you're, the musician is tied to the notes written on the page. You have to play exactly what's on the page and you have no freedom to improvise or do anything different. That's, I'm going to use that for my definition of classical music. Whereas in jazz music, you have total freedom to improvise within the structure of the key of the song and the other people you're playing with. But you create or you, imp, imp, you uh, uh, just you ad lib, you uh, create what you're going to play, you improvise literally every note and everything you do. Now, when you do that, especially when you start out to do that, you're going to make mistakes because you don't know what to do, you don't know what to play. You're going to make mistakes, but Nobody, they, nobody counts the mistakes. They don't hold them against you. There's not a, a record of them. People just keep encouraging you to, to try more and try more and try more and do more things. Whereas in classical music, you're, you're really kind of walking on eggshells. You're afraid to make a mistake because you know if you do, somebody else will take your job and that kind of thing. And you're, I've also found, that not often, but sometimes, there's a little bit of a, of a disdain. Sometimes it's not, it's only thinly veiled, if veiled at all, between classical musicians who are tied to notes on the page and jazz musicians who have the freedom to improvise. I have sometimes felt, even though I can do both, I felt this sort of like people looking down their nose at me and saying, well, what you're doing is not really legitimate and that type of thing. Well, that's just a little observation about the music world, but I've really felt that in the spiritual world. I found when people are bound to religion, and by the way, the word religion comes from a Latin word that means bound up. And believe me, you're really bound up when you're into religion and you're tied to rules and regulations and you can't do this and you got to do that and you feel like God's watching you all the time and he's just ready to zap you if you screw up, you know. That's not the way God is. God is much more, if you'll use the, let me use the analogy, God is much more into jazz where he doesn't keep a record of the mistakes. He wants you to be free. He wants you to try things. He wants you to enjoy life and have the freedom to be spontaneous and to create like he does. And that's a, that's a big, a good picture of the big difference between religion, bound up religion, tied to rules and regulations, and having the freedom to enjoy life. I've come to understand that God has given us all freedom. He loves us. He's given us His grace, which covers everything in our relationship with Him. He's done it all. So, now that's not a license to go out and just raise hell all the time. You don't even want to do that when you understand how much He loves you. But He's given us the freedom to live life not being bound to rules and just to enjoy life and let Him lead us in what we do on any given day. It totally sets you free. It totally changes your attitude. It, it's joyful. That's the best word to describe it. So. I hope you'll stay with me on this uh, journey and continue to join me for Convertible Conversations and learn more about how God has set us free to be free and to enjoy life. Contact me if you would. Uh, send me an email or give me a personal message on Facebook. I'd love to get together with you. Thanks for listening. Bye.